This is Spooman with RiskSys International. The uh, purpose of this video is to demonstrate the validity of the axiom gaps will be filled always. Today's date is uh, July 26, 2007 after the market on the date the Dow dropped over 400 points intraday. What we have on the chart here is the SPOOs, the trend, the VIX, all of the other data is minimized uh, to the best of our ability to improve the resolution on the screen. We're going to be concerned with primarily two things, gaps in the SPOOs and gaps on the trend. Now when we talk about gaps in the spoos, what we are not talking about is gaps between the open of the current day and the close of the previous day. Those kinds of gaps are of no significance to us. and We've never found them to be of any particular use. What is important is gaps in data wherein for every price point on the spoos, every quarter of a point, there needs to be a corresponding value in the trend, in the VIX, in the premium feeds. Now in this particular case, you will see every price point has a corresponding value until you get down to these numbers right in here at 1495.50, 1494.75 there is no data available that means that from the date that this was run this particular being run on the 20th of July in the most recent past the last time the spoos were at 1495.75 they dropped to 1495.25 dropped again to 1494.50 skipping over those two gaps for which there was no data. What does that tell us? The spoos are going back down to fill those gaps and not only are they going down that far but take a look at what we found from the 19th. If we go back in history from the 19th of May, or pardon me, of April, when we drop down to 1471.50, between 1471.50 and 1471, there's no data. Neither is there any data at 1470.75. Below that, we're okay. So we have another gap in data there, right around 1471. Gaps in data will be filled. Notice there's also a gap in the trend. This particular table charts any gap on any of our data feeds and we had a gap at 1.52, 2.04, and 2.14 on the trend. Gaps will be filled. What happened on this particular day? When the spoos dropped into 1495, Actually, they're dropped right in here to 25. They stopped and began to rally. Not particularly important to us, but that was a gap, and it was filled. Actually, they dropped right into 1492. Now you can't see that real well here. 
that's the price, 1492. Now was that important to us? No, not particularly. It was to some because at 731 on June the 27th, before the market opened, the spoos had dropped to 14.92 even. Many traders were looking at that particular price, figuring that would be support if the spoos dropped that low today. The spoos did, but they didn't stop there. While granted, when that occurred right here, there was a rally that continued for well over an hour and then the slide continued. Now what's of particular importance to us is that we can track any trend that's existing on the trend in the VIX. We not only know when it exists, we can project how far it will go before it ends. At 10.41 a.m. on this date, we already knew that the trend had the potential to go as high as 1.42. A little later in the morning at 11.37, we knew it was going to fill a gap. And then beyond that, 12.40, we were almost certain that on this date, the gaps on the trend would be filled. What happened? As the spoos dropped down, notice right here, At 13.57, the trend hit a high of 1.42. On the very next bar, 13.58, the spoos hit. Pardon me. So at 13.58, in one bar, the spoos, or pardon me, the trend filled all of the gaps. At that point in time, the rally that followed became an absolute certainty. Interestingly, just before that gap was filled, notice where bring that data window back up. Notice how low the spoos went. A few minutes before that, 1471, exactly where our gaps were to be found. Now granted, there is still a gap at 1470.75. It too will be filled. We didn't fill it today, but the spoos are going back down and they will fill that gap. Nevertheless, that may take some time because now all of the gaps in the trend have been filled. What's our point? The axiom gaps are always filled? Yes. Yes, they are. We have the software to track gaps in every piece of data that's significant to us. And we know from experience gaps are always filled. And knowing that in advance can be extremely useful in knowing how long to hold a trade or where the spoos are likely going to turn. There's certainly other issues as well, but these particular points are extremely useful. Having the ability to track that can make a difference between being a consistent loser and a consistent winner. At RISIS International, 
rsksys.com. We have a training program to help you as a trader become consistently profitable every single day because we know how to read the market. And we invite you to investigate our website and take the challenge of really learning how to read the market. This is Spooman for RiskSys International.